Hello everyone and welcome to our very special E3 coverage of the Ubisoft conference. I'm Gunn and I'm joined with... Oh, that Honey Badger. And? Digital Wolf. So uh, I think we'll start off with the order they showed the games in and that was Splinter Cell Blacklist. So do you have anything to say about that lads? So, Honey Badger, we'll start with you. Okay, well to be honest, I, I got home late and I missed the beginning. But I just know Spies vs. Mercs is back. I played that in Splinter Cell 4, and it was really fun. So that's going to be pretty good, I guess. Uh, but other than that, I missed it. Uh, yeah. So it, it, The trailer was kind of a mess for me. I had no idea what the heck was going on. I was just showing a bunch of random stuff. I was kind of like hoping for like a gameplay walkthrough or something like that. But I guess not. So it was yeah, just kind it, of... Yeah, go it, on. It did seem kind of messy. It was like the screen, they kept pulling back out on the screen, and there was like five different screens going on at the same time. I didn't really know where to look. Yeah. yeah. When I, was, when I was watching it, or trying to watch it, I was getting, like, you know, things up for taking notes and, like, other tabs up and whatnot, and I could hear the audio, and it was just, like, talking about random things, and I looked at the uh, the stream chat that people were talking about, and people were kind of saying the same thing, it's kind of all over the place, and yeah. this and that, you know. And you can't stop the Black Watch. You can't stop the Black Watch. Yeah, yeah stop. something like that, so is there, is there anything else we need to say about Splinter Cell Blacklist? Uh, well, the only thing I'll say is Blacklist, sorry, Blacklist, I wasn't paying attention. Sorry. Sorry. Blacklist. That was like a what? verbal typo. Anyway. What should yeah. I say? <laughs> Nothing. Ignore me. Alright. <laughs> so, the next game was Rayman Legends. Uh, that was awesome. <clears throat> and are you guys Rayman fans? I, I I'm, say, yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan of CG animation, and they should make a Rayman movie based off what I saw they had on there. Because it was, it was just really, really cool and cartoony. And sure, the, the Viking chick, she's I like thought... cool and spunky and stuff, but her boobs were jiggling. And I was like, haha, that's kind of funny. But, you know. I didn't just... really like that, to be honest. I thought that was just, like, are we still Sexist. at that? It's not that I just, like, you know. Grow like... up, Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, a, it's, it's a cartoon. It's, it's, it's okay. I mean, like, even cartoons when we were kids had that kind of stuff. It's just normal now. Yeah, For some reason, people are pointing it out more frequently now, but I just thought it was hilarious. Cause yeah. It was, just... it was a bit weird. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't really know much about Rayman, but I did. I agree with you, though. The art style was really cool. I did like the yeah. look of it. Uh, yeah. I think and Oscar... the re Oh, sorry. Go on. I was going to say, uh, it looks like there'll be co op, too, which is pretty cool. I love co op games. Yeah, they, they've always been, I think they're like full-on four-player games. I, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, like this, this game should have been released ages ago, but it got Fair. delayed for the yep. other platforms. It was supposed to be a Wii U exclusive. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's a whole other story. Yeah. Now, uh, one thing that they pointed out uh, in, in, at the end of that, though, is that there's supposed to be a whole bunch of music stages. And if you've ever played the demo that you can play on the Wii, um, one of the stages they have is a music stage. But literally, all of your movements are to the music, and it, it's just the funnest thing ever. So if there's a bunch of those, then I would be so happy, because those are just amazingly well-designed. Yeah. It's so cool. Well, they said 120 levels. I'm sure you'll get your fill of, of the music ones. Oh, yeah. That's... Oh, yeah. So, I'm looking forward to it. So, uh, let's move on. To, uh, and we'll start with Wolf this time, I think. The Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. What do you think about that? <laughs> the trailer was pretty funny. Yeah, I really like that trailer. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, leaving so soon. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's something, something like that. I can't remember what it was. I wrote it. I typed it somewhere. I can't remember. Yeah. It's, a, it's a free-to-play game, isn't it? Yes, it's a beta. You oh, can... yeah, it is. Actually, you might check it out. Maybe. Yeah, let's see if I can. I'm gonna find a link, and then you can put it in the video description. Yeah, that'd yeah. be good. Um, you do the best. I actually have no links like saved here because I just watched it, you know. Yeah, so we I, are the sources. Yeah, we are the sources. I watched it and took notes as I was watching. So, source... so this could be grossly inaccurate. Yeah, source <laughs> 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 Um But I to to take over there from from Wolf. Sorry, Wolf. I'm gonna put it in here. But uh, yeah, I I like that you can build your own castle and like you know make your own traps and stuff. I'd say the probably some you know more creative kind of players could make some really hard castles, and I guarantee there'll be people like make hard castles and have no loot or something like that, or you know leave it in a <laughs> have a have a dummy room with all these traps like and it takes like hours to get past, and then there's just one with the, like you know maybe one jump or something and there's all you know, you know what I mean. It's just cool. Um, 
Trolls would be trolls. Yeah, keep yeah. all your money on the easy route, and then yeah. someone's gonna be like, wait, this is too easy. Maybe I should turn around and take the hard route, and the hard route has none of the money. Yeah, it would just trick them, like, you know. Uh, maybe leave it in the first door, like you come in when you come into the castle, but have loads of these like unreal things up in the distance, so it pulls your attention away from the actual door, and then you waste hours of your life, and then you then you know you can rub it in their face because you know I like that thing that they had that you can leave messages when you leave somebody's castle. I think that's really cool. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so do you, do either of you know what platform it's on? Uh, PC. <laughs> Is yeah. It just PC. It's, um, I think I, it's multi-plat. I don't... I'd say so, too. Yeah. It, to me, it seems like the new platforms can do a lot what the PC can do at the moment, and uh, we're going to get a lot of them big games, which we'll talk about uh, later on. Um, yeah. Oh, it looks like it's PC only. No, oh. PC only. That's interesting. But um, uh, I think that's all about that, is it? Yeah. Do you have anything else to add? No, I, I, I was surprised by it. It turned out, I looked at first, I was like, oh, come on, guys, you know. I, yeah. I didn't want to look at it, but I was actually impressed with it, and I will be looking out for it and see how it goes. Yep. Uh, Wolf, have you anything to add? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it, too. I'm, I'm actually going to register something after this. Oh. I found the website, by the way. TheMightyQuest.com oh, nice. uh, Leave a link, or we'll leave a link in the description. Right. Indeed. Yeah. So, uh, move on to the next thing, and it yeah. is South Park Stick of Truth. So, Badger, what did you think? Uh, obviously there wasn't that much. I laughed pretty hard though at the uh, the fart, uh, <laughs> the Nagasaki fart thing. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow, I found that so funny. You know, it's pretty much it seems pretty true to the show, uh, humor wise. Yeah. You know, but I mean this game's been it seems like it's coming out for ages. I'm I'm pretty excited. I actually think it's going to be a good game, even though it's a you know a TV show tie in. But you know, it doesn't look like they're taking it too serious in the sense that you know they're not trying to be all you know. Obviously it's South Park. They're not going to try to be serious, but. You know, Have we seen any actual gameplay? I don't think Only so. Only pictures. Only pictures. pictures. Yeah, um, I I have a Game Informer magazine that I read I read about it on, and they it's just kind of, I think it's like turn based RPG kind of thing, and then there's like all the other stuff that they showed, which is all in game stuff, and yeah, I, I don't I don't know exactly how it works. I just know that it's kind of like turn based RPG kind of styled or something like that. And do we have platforms for that? It's multi-plat. I don't know the exact. You can get consoles. it on. You'll get it on your Microsoft. You'll get it on your Sony or your PC. Yeah, yeah. it's just no exclusive. It's the gist of it. Pro- Nintendo yeah. too. Is it coming to the Wii U? Uh, I don't know actually. We are um, a fountain of knowledge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, look, we know as much as anybody else who's watching it. You know, we're just talking about it. This is what this cast is about. It's not about solid facts. It's our speculations and whatnot. Uh, there may have been like a splash screen. The, uh, it's PS3 and 360, and it'll probably be on next-gen consoles too. Who knows? Okay. I want to be surprised if it released on next-gen consoles, and also PC as well. I was just gonna say, but yeah, never mind. You got me. Uh, anything else about that that we'd like to talk about? Um, no. Th- I mean, they didn't show enough to to have a full-blown conversation. Yeah, yeah. Pretty quick. Like, who used to be developing? It wasn't always Ubisoft. Oh, God. THQ, wasn't THQ. it? Yeah, because they went under and then they got bought by Ubisoft. I was really relieved when I heard that. So you think that's going to make a big difference? No, to, no. It's, I guarantee it was... Sorry to interrupt you. No, go ahead. Uh, I guarantee it, it was well on the way, you know, already without any kind of... No, pretty much what I'm saying is the change in, dev- in publishers isn't going to affect it because they had their plan set out and they're already by the looks of it from the pictures they showed that they're already on the way you know, True. I mean, and do they have the same developers still on it like yeah just different publishers I believe so it shouldn't make much difference at all no no that's what I meant to say but I said it in the most roundabout way possible <laughs> they just wasted a precious minute <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're on a budget okay. of a time so moving on I think is it safe to move on yeah oh yeah okay so Wolf, this is this next game is more your territory. The crew. What do you want to say about this? The I love crew? it. Yeah. It's it's like um I, I feel like it's probably not entirely, but it, it just kind of feels like it, it's giving me my crazy burnout itch that I kind of want. Yeah. And, and in terms of like at least how they kind of Im- the impression of the mission structure is that you just have this big world and then there are just like these missions and then everybody just kind of joins in on it and. Bam, go do this thing, and you can just drive all over the place and stuff. I think that's that's really really cool, and it, it, especially the what they've done with the detail 
you know, take you can completely dismantle the car and all that stuff like that. That's just really, really cool. So I'm really excited about that. I was very impressed with the uh, with the the car customization thing. You know, really just going down to the engine. There was nothing else but the engine and the uh, the frame. I was like, yeah. wow, that's pretty cool. I mean, uh, I like racing games like that where you build your own car. I think you can get more invested in it that way. Yeah. Was... Oh, by the way, uh, can I say one more thing? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, the song that uh, that was playing in the trailer, because that, that song was amazing, is called Warrior Concerto by The Glitch Mob. So. Right here first. No. Every, the question on everyone's lips has been answered. Yes. Yeah, that's all everybody Just so people about. know, because that song was amazing. So. Yeah. Okay, we, we might stick a link into the description if we're feeling generous. Yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously... But, uh, to go back to the crew, just because I mean there was a lot to look at, you know, might as well might as well flush it out a bit. Um, it seemed that uh, it's obviously very fast and furious inspired, you know, with the heist that they were pulling in that trailer they showed. Yeah, yeah. it reminded me an awful lot of Fast and Furious. I have to see Fast and Furious six actually, but besides the point. Yeah. Um, I like that too that you know you might have to customize a car. Just say like there might be an off road mission, and if you had a car that's only suited to roads, you'd have to go back and like change some things up so that it wouldn't you wouldn't lose any performance yeah. on the grass or you know in the dirt pretty much. You know I like that it might force you just to not get comfortable with one powerful car. You might have to change it or go to a different car altogether or something like that. I think that's cool. Yeah. What did you lads think about the size of the map? Because it looked to me like it was the whole of America. Yeah. Yeah, a very rounded kind of America, but yeah, looks yeah, like, it, like the whole of America. It was like they were, yeah, rounding it out a bit, like maybe putting it in the more important. Well, I say important, uh, the more, the more iconic. Uh, iconic, yeah, thanks. Um, more iconic locations, and I think that's cool. Like, I mean, would you really? Even though it would be cool in thought and in theory, but really want to drive? Just say your home, your friend was in like in Los Angeles, you know, and going from, you know, Manhattan to, to Los Angeles, east to west, doesn't that take, like, three days to drive or something? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there seemed to be some kind of, like, a when he opened up the map, like, he zoomed out of one area and zoomed down into another area yeah. instantly, so you wouldn't yeah. have to actually necessarily drive through That's crazy. countryside. Too. I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. It was just yeah. like, shoop. Yeah. I, I still don't think we can grasp how powerful these next consoles are. Yeah. Yeah, it's less about the graphics, it's more about... You know, I'm okay all that stuff it. under the engine. Yeah, I'm okay with that, though. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um. Hmm, was there anything else? So, uh, it's mainly, like, it's, what did he say? Uh, persistent online universe, was it? Yeah. That's how they described it. Yeah. So, like, did they give, like, a player count? I've seen, like, groups of fives. Yeah, yeah. Four seem to be, like There seem to be, like, lots of groups of fives all yeah. over the place. Yeah. So, did they give any numbers officially or anything, now? No, no, I, I've, I couldn't take it, even take a stab at it because I don't know anything about you know what what it can handle, uh, yeah. next gen wise, you know. Yeah, it looked like it looked like it was just kind of, just standard kind of MMO kind of mentality. Maybe it just kind of handles it on a channel basis or something like that, you know. Maybe. Like a uh, Need for Speed World, if you've ever played that, like mm -hmm. I mean, it'll just suddenly be like 50 cars on the screen because they're all just sitting around at this event or another. Or at the end of an event, or something like that, and that kind of looks weird. So I don't know if they're going to try and find a way to manage that or not. Yeah, so. but uh, as well with that, and many other games that they showed on today it was like tablet integration. Like that was a big, big thing. Yeah. Throughout, well, Which not I just Ubisoft, throughout the whole E3 so far. Tablet, I, tablet, tablet. I hate to say it, but I'm starting to get okay with it because it looks like I don't have to do it. Oh, no, you don't have you know, to. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm okay with it. You know, it's not being pushed on me. Yeah, yeah. it's a nice, cool added bonus. Yeah, if you happen to have a tablet, I don't, and I don't want one. But, uh, yeah. you know, if it's there, if it's there, you know. Yeah. Now, the thing is, uh, a few games in the past have tried that. Like, for instance, uh, Ghost Recon had a feature like that. And yeah. it was just mainly for, like, customizing guns uh. and stats or configurations and stuff like that. And it, it was kind of cool, but the app was buggy as heck. Uh, yeah. That's kind of a big thing I'm concerned about. Nintendo did something similar where you could connect your Game Boy Advance, I mean, not quite a tablet, but a, same thing. You know, you could use your Game Boy Advance to get more features. Like I used it in yeah. uh, Wind Waker. Uh -huh. uh, it was it was okay. Uh, yeah. Things like in that Splinter was by Cell. Wire, though. Yeah, in Splinter Cell you could use it. The first one I think on the, <coughs> pardon me, the Splinter Cell on the GameCube, you could you you could use it to see your map or something like that. I actually didn't use it on Splinter Cell though, but 
you know, I thought yeah. that was cool as well. It's interesting, yeah. Yeah, yeah sort of like maybe done right now. You don't need wires and, you know, yeah. it's kind of the evolution yeah. of that maybe. And one other thing to add about that, which could be interesting, is uh, it was live demoed on stage with the uh, Xbox One controller. But it's also coming out for PS4. Yeah, yeah. right. I I think they, uh, they did it with the Xbox One is because the Xbox One has already had their event. Well, yeah, that's my thoughts. That they also demoed the laser one that was on the PS4, but we'll get to that one. Oh. Yeah. Uh, did, you, did you guys kind of cringe a bit when the guy who was playing it was crashing and stuff? Not really. Uh, I was just like, of all the times, you know, I mean, like, I wasn't like, you idiot, but I was just like, I felt bad for it because I'd say he was feeling the pressure. Yeah. The this guy, is not the worst thing I've seen today, though. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> we'll save that for the Microsoft. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's funny. No. But anyway, we should probably move on. Yeah, okay. Uh, so Watch Dogs is what came up next. And Wolf, mm-hmm. what on a ways? I asked you first about the crew. Badger, what did you think about Watch Dogs? Well... Uh, you posted the linked trailer. I didn't get to watch it, so thankfully this is new to me. Uh, so I I thought it looked class. Um, from the looks of it, you can use your melee and your guns at the same time. Um, I liked when he you know turned off all the city lights and escaped the police and uh, you know shamed your man who got caught for human trafficking. You know while he was being arrested, put his face up and put up all the girls he'd sold like you know and said I'm watching you. I thought like that was really cool. Um, but. The, Wolf, I need- Oh, sorry. So I was just I was gonna say in summary it just looks badass and it's consistently right. looked badass the whole time. Yeah. Well, um, it was my first time seeing it as well, and I was I was actually surprised it was a CG trailer. Yeah. It was just kind of, that was just kind of a new thing, but um, yeah, I thought it was awesome too. It was like he's just he's following the guy around, he's hacking stuff around him. I don't know why, but whatever. That was cool. And then um, you know, follows him down the place. Turns out he's selling people. I don't know what the deal was with the eating sushi off people's backs, but that was okay because that's weird underworld stuff that rich people do apparently. Yeah, I do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm actually doing it right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Proper delicacy. Yeah. I keep oh. my gaming rig on the back of an Asian woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Oh. That's oh, you you have a laugh to rival the badger laugh. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, I was actually disappointed that it was in CG because yeah. it yeah. made no sense. You think they showed the CG one last year, and then this year they'd be showing the gameplay ones. True. So that kind of let me down. Maybe it maybe was exactly. Oh, sorry. And it's probably a combination as well of me already haven't seen the leaked trailer, so it didn't have as much impact. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. gun uh, problems. I think that they were. They decided to CG because they showed a lot of gameplay for a game that's not going to be out anytime soon. Uh, yeah. You know, It'll so be pretty soon. Well, I don't know. It feels like it's going to be ages. You know, I don't I know. I, I'd say maybe the month coming up to it, we'll start to see a lot more gameplay. And mm. you know, I'd like to just see someone just hop in and play a session, and it's not planned out. You know, you're going to go here and hope. You know. Just some actual in-game, and even though they say that it wasn't planned out, I mean, I'm sure they knew something was going to happen when they right. showed the other gameplay stuff. That's just yeah. my my hopes for it. Yeah, it's, it's orchestrated to an extent. Yeah, to an extent, but it still looks class. So I don't care. Right. But the man on stage, and I'm not going to bother trying to remember his name, but he did say to watch out for the whole week of E3 because they're going to be showing more Watch Dogs. So hopefully, oh. we'll see some gameplay yeah, okay. throughout the week. And if there is, so obviously, we're going to PS4 conference then. Yeah, Possibly. maybe. Um, everyone fi- had their fill of watchdogs. I think so. I didn't really go into too much detail today anyway. No, I think they just kind of reminded us that's out there. Yeah, that's right. So uh, next up is the one that Wolf has been waiting all E3 for, is uh, Just Dance. Yeah. So Wolf, why don't you tell us about that? No. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. My sister, is, my sister would be interested in that. I don't really care either way. I don't care either. Yeah, I also don't care. Uh, but, uh, yeah. A new one is coming, and it features music and colorful flashing lights. Yeah, so you can risk and a seizure. flying through mountains. Yeah, it's sort of like you can live dangerously by risking a seizure uh, yeah. when you play. A but, new uh, six-player action. Yeah. Which I have six. no idea how that works. How would you get six people in a in a regular sitting room? You know. I, Dude, they were so cramped. I thought they were gonna hit each other. I I have no idea. <laughs> they, they should not. 
demo stuff like that. You just say it's there and expect no one to use it. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Well, there is a niche for it, though. Like, obviously, if they're making another one, they're selling. So. Yeah. But it's it's not for me, so I didn't care for it. And if you were here to listen about Just Dance, well, you're shit out of luck. <laughs> I would say I would use it if I was drunk enough, though. Yeah, true. And we leave it at that. Yeah, we leave it at that. Moving briskly along to... Uh, Another disappointment. Rabbit's Invasion, which is a TV show slash interactive game. Can someone yes. explain that to me? I'll, I'll explain it. Okay, I guess essentially the idea is, you know how kids shows are always saying, Hey, kids, say this! And then the kids shout at the TV like they're important, but they're not. Apparently this is just an improvement of that. Yeah. And um, the only thing I enjoyed is that when they first saw the trailer, there's this thing when the rabbit like puts the chicken inside the egg and then shoves the egg inside the chicken's ass, and it was just hilarious. Yeah. I just laughed way too hard at that. <laughs> yeah, I bet, I bet you like that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I Anything to add to this, Look, Badger? I, I just didn't find find it funny that a, a rabbit condemned a chicken to die by shoving it back into its shell and then shoving it up its mother's <laughs> ass. Yeah, I think that's pretty fucked up. <laughs> that was, that was hair's core was... horror we saw there yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Imagine having flashbacks. <laughs> and they were looking so innocent after they yeah, did yeah. it, too. Uh, you evil. Yeah. And the worst thing is he put the egg in dry, like, no lube. <laughs> It's probably still a bit wet from coming from out with it. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. I don't know. Okay. We should move on. Yeah. We should. We should linger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll go out to the farm now, check on the chickens, and see how it works. <laughs> okay. Okay. Enough. Enough before, of that. Yeah. Before Wolf gets too aroused. <laughs> uh, what? Uh... Next up was Assassin's Creed Four Badger. Okay, this is where it started to get good. Anyway, um, so it started in a bar. And this guy, who's obviously important, appears because he's got guards with them. You know, they're obviously protecting him. And, uh, you know, you kind of... Uh, Edward, I think the character's name is? Am I correct? I don't remember. Edward Kenway, I think. Okay, well, yeah, Edward motions to uh, to the other gentleman at the bar with him that, you know, something's going to happen. So apparently he goes up looking to be all palsy with them. And, the, you know, a fight breaks out when he attacks the table with the, the important character or whatever. i just like to point out that this was all in CG. Yeah, all the CG. Yes. Yeah. So... Yeah, you know, fight breaks out. It looks pretty cool, though. Really well done. And then uh, your man Edward kills kills the important character after walking uh, rather badassly through the through the fight and all that shit. Um, and it's, he just takes money this time, though, and he doesn't do the whole, you know, pushing, you know, rubbing his eyes down, you know, closing his eyes rather, and you know, having that weird talk with him. So it looks like yeah. it's more about the money and you know, less about the, uh, I don't know, whatever. Justice. Yeah, the justice, which might mean well. Actually, no, that's uh, some Assassin's Creed 3 spoilers, so I'll say nothing. Um, Indeed. So then he took it onto the ocean. Wolf? Yeah. Well, it's just because there's all the, the boat stuff and everything like that, which I need to play more of in 3. I didn't oh. play super amount of, of it, but it was really far in what I played. Yeah. And I just kind of, and apparently how it's supposed to work is, from what I've read, is that everything is, is like, procedural you don't have there's no loading from when you get into the boat and getting out into sea it's just all kind of dynamic that's good that's true that's a big change so, from three i think one thing yeah. we're going to be seeing less of is no loading screens yes or less of loading screens I for one. Of no loading screens yeah yeah i for one welcome our new no loading screen overlords yeah me yeah. too I mean, actually according to twitter developers hate that mess too <laughs> or they hate um or they hate um streaming data it's apparently like a, a big pain in the ass, and they just hate it, so they prefer to just load it all at once, which is kind of the blessing of the more RAM. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. That um, sweet RAM. That, that RAM do. But, okay, uh, right. Anything else on that? Oh, God, I was, actually had something to say. But, uh, Go ahead. I forgot. I was Hurry just, up, I Badger. <laughs> Badger, come on. You're, you're really wasting so much time here. Yeah, I can't take all this pressure. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll move on. Maybe just, it'll come... Just a heads up, we're 25 minutes in, so... Yeah, I got the clock. Got the yeah. clock in front of me. Don't, don't try and embarrass me like this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, next up was Trials, and they showed two Trials games. One was Trials Fusion, and the other was Trials Frontier. Frontier. Who wants to take them? I'll go with Trials Fusion. Uh, it just looks like it's in the in the future, I guess. It's for consoles, and um, there, there wasn't really much shown, except that there's a trick system in it now. I, I'm pretty sure it's like the same as Trials Evolution, you know, and Trials HD and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. So, 
pretty excited because I really love them games. And that's that's pretty it, I guess. Uh, Wolf, Frontier? Uh, me being a uh, primarily PlayStation user, I, I haven't played Trials too much. I played a little bit of it. And they have a Vita title that I played a demo of. And, of course, I played all the other kind of games that kind of work like that. So I'm used to the concept, and it looks really cool, but I don't know too much about how it works. I know it's like custom stages and stuff like that. And well, apparently you can use your phone to interface with that or something. The thing about Frontier is that's the mobile phone version, while right. Fusion is the next-gen version. Yeah. Does that include Vita or, or just cell phones? Uh, that's a good there question. There's a trial that's yeah. on the Vita already. If I had to take a guess, I'd say it's just phones, but I mean... Maybe Did it say exclusive cool. to phones or mobiles, I think they said, but yeah. that could include, maybe she said mobile devices. Yeah. I don't know. Anywho. Well, the big one now, this is what I really want one. to talk about. The big one. The division. Yeah. Go Fucking with hell. Go um, with us. The, oh, God. I, at first, I didn't realize that it was a co-op buddy. Obviously, it was rehearsed uh, dialogue between the players, you know. But it sounded really cool. I liked how the voices sounded like they're on a walkie-talkie, you know, like, you know. Um, the graphics were insane. Uh, I, I like the map thing, how it just comes out in the floor. You know, that's The map just, was really cool. Yeah, that seems to be access to some yeah. kind of, like, watch thing on his wrist. I like that, yeah. too, was, you know. Um, it's, I think, you know... Well, maybe, you, maybe, maybe, kind of start with, like, what kind of game was it, sir? Oh, okay. It's like, they said it's an RPG, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, like so... MMO and it's, kind of it thing. seems like it's, uh, yeah, f- uh, free roaming. And you can go with the squad, and you've got to loot and stuff like that. It's like there's been some pandemic, and everyone's dying around you. There's bandits everywhere. It reminded me actually of Days V a lot. Yeah. Uh, well, the premise of it, like, because we'll get to, we'll talk about the end later why I think that. But um, it starts. You're in this street, and you know he looks at some mission, or like he looks at the map, and then uh, something appears that alerts him that there's a police station nearby that's in distress. So pretty much it says there's a quest there, and go there, and. Um, yourself and two other friends walk up there you know the, the dialogue's really cool and they give you a lot of time to look at the world and you know it looks really good yep well, that's what I... shall I continue yeah yeah that's good. <laughs> all right so yeah when the, when the, it was everything was like first coming in they were like showing like swooping down this building and then the camera like turns and everything just kind of showing the world a little bit and I'm sitting there watching this like okay so this is kind of like a CG trailer or something like that and I'm like, huh, so this is going to be one of those things where everybody's going to be questioning, is this is this in-game or not? And then, like, and just all this fell swoop, which just kind of slowly backs to the, the back of this character. And I'm like, oh, wait, is the menu going to come up? And then, blam, the menu comes up. And I'm like, whoa, I did not think like, it was going to look that good. That was just, I was really just kind of, my mind was blown. And then the, the menu they had was just absolutely sexy. I, yes, I, I really like that. that. I, I was thinking like, that too. Is like that looks pretty seamless. Sorry to interrupt yeah. on your. You yeah. Know, right? Oh, it's all good. No, no, it's it's all good. It, it just it was just freaking awesome. It reminded me of a little bit of Sword Art Online. Actually, how the menu came up because he's just like looking at it and it's just like I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, um, but no, the cool thing that was also impressive to me was some of the animation stuff that I was seeing. Like uh, he he was taking he was taking cover on that cop car and people mm-hmm. were shooting at him and stuff like that. And the door like swings open, so he's like trying to move. He's, he's moving across the car and as he comes to the door he just kind of places his hands on the door to close it as he's moving across and i was like oh that's just that's just great and another dude just kind of comes in and he like knows everybody and he's like hey guys what's going on oh i see you got some stuff going on here let me just help you out and he's like scanning people and stuff like that and he was like okay hey can you mark this guy for us sure and then we'll just all destroy him through this wall yeah, i nearly and i was just i nerd gasmed at that part like yeah that, you... that... Sorry, but that, that guy I think that you were talking about who came along and had them, he was on like uh, the little thing that was flying around in the sky, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. And he, uh, he, it, said, it said like the, that username and then beside us it said tablet. So this guy was joining oh. in on the tablet. Oh, wow. I did not realize that. So that was really cool. Do you reckon it's handled oh, server yeah. side that allows, that allows them to do that on tablet? I don't know how that works. Yeah, we'll find out. Like, but, do, you uh, need, yeah. like do you need like, a powerful tablet to be able to run something like that? Is there such yeah. thing as a powerful tablet, though, for a game like that? Nowadays, it's getting to a point. Um, maybe. But uh, one thing, did you notice, too, that the bullets hitting the glass in the car, it wasn't just, like, maybe, you know, three bullets and the whole thing... Pardon me, I had to burp there. The whole thing smashes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, like, you know... It was realistic. Yeah, it was, like, little yeah. tiny holes, like, and uh, the same when it was hitting the um, the concrete barricade that 
the player hid behind when he took out the last enemy. Yeah. Uh, I was really impressed with that too. And yeah. it, it looks like, from what I can gather, all the buildings will be enterable. I think that's something we're going to be seeing a lot in, in next yeah. gen nowadays. And one more thing is that at the very, very end, um, at the very, very end, uh, just like, they're like, I guess they call them like a beacon down or something to get lifted out of there, maybe. Yeah. And then like some other characters, some other guys come up and it's like, oh my god, other guys, get, some, get ready for some PvP. Yeah, and he, he just, goes yeah. brace for PvP, and I was like, oh my god. Uh, you PV, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I PvP. couldn't believe it. Uh, but uh, do you also yeah. think that the characters will be customizable because nobody looked the same? I hope I, so. I think so. Uh, yeah, if it's an RPG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that too. But I mean, I'm more interested in the PvP side of things, Yeah, you know, as a JZ player. Um, well, there's two, yeah, I like that kind of stuff, you know. There's two things that stood out for me. Was uh, like during the gameplay, they showed your man playing this on a PS4 controller yeah. halfway through and it had like a yellow light on top of the light bar. That was cool. And uh, another thing as well, just like the the amount of choices that you had available to you. Like this fellow was going through his menu when he was pinned down by the car. And he had all these skills and stuff to choose from. Well, this girl, Megan, I think her name was, she throws up a terrorist on top of the bonus of the police car and that starts yeah. firing away. And just and Everything was, I don't know, yeah. just looked cool. And also, do you notice like an NPC walked past and I think it was sick or something, but the player, uh, Bronson, his name was, said he didn't have, I can't remember what it was, he didn't have whatever that player needed though, or that NPC needed. Yeah, 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 yeah. So maybe you could do like good deeds like that that might get you something if you have bad NPCs. Uh, That's cool. To me, for for the Ubisoft side of things, that was my game, my, my favorite game shown. I think it would have been disappointed if it wasn't for yeah, the Division. Yeah, same. Yeah. Which is coming out on PS4 and Xbox One. Yeah. You see, the only thing is now, like, I'm pretty... I will talk about Microsoft later, but, like, I, I really want to be able to play it, like, with, uh, obviously, with all of you guys, and you seem to be, like, Sony, you know, Sony uh, Sony men, as it were. So it'd be a shame if we didn't get to uh, to go for a spin on, in the division when it comes out. So you guys better get the Xbox One. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> um, but I guess, I guess in, in, in summary, the division... Uh, my pick anyways what about you definitely the same that's something that i'll definitely be using the stream and or not the stream and the video capture on the ps4 for yes oh yeah too. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of moments in that yeah yep. I, I really like that okay uh, that's our time up uh, yeah for this one we have to keep them short because you know there's a lot of a lot to do with e3 and we can't be doing two hour podcast per <laughs> per show we'll All be right. doing the sony the microsoft the ea ones tomorrow as well as what i'm not sure when we get the nintendo ones done but at well, the end anyway we have to do the nintendo ones it would be unfair i mean i don't oh, know we will but i don't know when we're doing this so oh, okay sorry yeah, i misunderstood you all right okay but, uh, yeah. all right yeah well that so, was pretty awesome though i enjoyed if that if you enjoyed this then like subscribe leave a comment tell your friends about us blah 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 all that crap and thanks for listening yeah bye-bye yeah later au revoir